I'm Paul Drexler. I've been writing about San Francisco crime for over 30 years. My new book, Notorious San Francisco, True Tales of Crime, Passion, and Murder, has just come out. The book covers some of the most infamous criminals and some of the strangest crimes in San Francisco history. In this short video, I'm also going to show you some of the actual places where these crimes took place. Now, the people living in these places have no idea of the horrors that took place in their homes decades ago. So don't tell them. We're here in the Outer Mission at 490 Ellington Street. This unassuming house, built in 1917, has six bedrooms and five bathrooms. But we're most interested in what went on in the basement. This is Ivor Kroger, also known as Grandma Kroger, also known as the Grandma from Hell. She looks harmless, but in 1961, she killed two people in the basement and buried their bodies under the concrete floor. The trial was one of the strangest in history. 90 years ago, thousands of people stood in front of this house at 1373 McAllister Street in the Fillmore District. Inside lay the body of Joe Tanko, the most wanted man in California, killed after a ferocious gun battle with police. I tell the story of Joe Tanko and his partner, Floyd Hall, two killers who broke out of San Quentin and went on a long crime spree leading to the siege of the Sierras. The largest posse in California history, over 1,000 armed men, chased Tanko and Hall through the Sierras, but somehow they escaped. When Joe Tanka was killed, 20,000 people visited his body in the morgue. What happened to Floyd Hall? He was later pardoned by Governor Ronald Reagan. Go figure. Now we're in the high rent district. We are in Pacific Heights. And this block, known as Billionaire's Row, is the richest block in the most expensive neighborhood of the costliest city in the United States. Larry Ellison and Gordon Getty own homes on this street. Some of these houses go for $34 million. This house at 2801 Broadway, a 7,000 square foot, three-story mansion designed by noted architect Albert Fair, fits right in. But 2801 Broadway has a more sinister side. Between 1965 and 1967, the largest privately held arsenal in U.S. history was hidden in this house. Over 70 tons of munitions, including machine guns, cannons, anti-aircraft guns, grenade launchers, and 670,000 rounds of, of ammunition was seized by federal authorities. 2801 was the home of William Thorson III, a man with the face of a movie star and the mind of a serial killer. We're now at the intersection of Washington and Cherry Streets in the exclusive Presidio Heights neighborhood. 50 years ago, the Zodiac Killer shot cab driver Paul Stein to death on this spot. The Zodiac is the most famous unknown killer in U.S. history. He sent letters and ciphers to the newspapers claiming that his identity was hidden in the ciphers. Hundreds of books have been written about this case and millions of people are still trying to solve it. In my book, I present an unbiased view of the real evidence and take a closer look at all the major suspects. 
And I have a new suspect for you to consider. There are 20 more stories in this book, all true. Buy it on Amazon. Click on the link below the book. See you around.